Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello everyone, I'm Mary Lou Metzger and welcome to the Lawrence Welk Show. This program was taped in 1977 and is entitled Spring. It features guest star piano virtuoso Roger Williams. You'll see him do his great hit, Autumn Leaves, and Tom Netherton sings the popular April Love. And our country gal, Ava Barber, has an up-tempo version of You Are My Sunshine. Stay with us for a special treat later in the show. I'll visit with Welk Show singer Kathy Sullivan and hear her inspirational comments on her career in musical entertainment. But first, let's get things started with a very special introduction of the maestro himself. Let's watch. This evening we bring you a musical salute to spring with songs like Spring is Here, April Love, and Springtime in the Rockies. It's also our great pleasure to welcome a very special guest, the popular recording piano artist, Roger Williams. Now here's your host, Lawrence Welk. Thank you, girls. Greetings, friends, and welcome. Let's get our springtime show underway with this all-time favorite. our special guest, one of my personal favorites, and one of the most popular artists in the recording business, Roger Williams. Thank you. Roger had a gold record on a song titled Autumn Leaves, and I know you folks would be disappointed if he didn't play his fine arrangement of this big hit. Roger, you're on.
Patricia Williams. That was wonderful, wonderful. And what a wonderful performer. And we'll hear from Roger again later in the show. Listen to my smile. It may not sound like a love story, but it really is. Guy and Ron have a brand new song which they just recorded. Friends, listen to this beautiful love story. Just in case you happen to forget That you're the only miracle that I have ever met Well, something I could never give away Is yours today Here's my heart I wrapped it up for you In all the softest colors Any rainbow ever knew If you don't think when you undo it All my love is running through it Listen to my smile Just listen to my smile Singing like the sunrise on a Remember when I'm lonely, you're the only one I miss If you don't think you set me sailing, darling If my words are failing, listen to my smile Just listen to my smile Singing like the sunrise on a summer and then you will hear again just how much I'm Listen to my smile. <laughs> Next, our lovely Samansky sisters with a song made to order for these charming young ladies. Donna, 19, Joanne, 17, Valerie, 15, Audrey, 14, and little Michelle, 9. Take it away, girls. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters Never had to have a chaperone, no sir I'm there to keep my eye on her Caring, sharing Every little thing that we are wearing when a certain gentleman arrived from Rome I wore the dress and we stayed home All kinds of weather we stick together The same in the rain and sun Five different faces but in tight places We think and we act as one Those who seen us Know that not a thing could come between us Many men have tried to split us up But no one can But no one can Lord, help the mister Who comes between me and my sister and lord 
help the sister who comes between me and my man. Me and my man. Tom Netherton, what do you have for our loyal television audience? Well, here's a song that certainly is appropriate for our show tonight. And it's a song that was made famous by one of my favorite entertainers, Pat Boone. We hope you like it. April love is for the very young. Every star's a wishing star that shines for you. April love is all the seven wonders One little kiss will tell you this is true Sometime an April day will suddenly bring showers Rain to grow the flowers for her first bouquet. But April love can sift right through your fingers. So if she's the one, don't let her run away. So if she's the one, don't let her run away. Tom, very, very nice. In the early years when we played uh, mostly ballrooms, we were known mainly for champagne music. Here's a song in this style which fits our show. It might as well be spring. Gentlemen, one and two and <laughs> so very, very much. Ava Barber always adds a spark to our show with her fine voice and her great country style. Ava, you're on. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, 
My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away I'll always love you And make you happy If you will only do the same but if you leave me to love another, you'll regret it all someday. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Jamie Corey from Indianapolis has been on our training program for the past year. She's certainly the, uh, allowed to sing a solo with us here this evening and our very fine rhythm section. Take it away. <laughs> Albums, Nasha's theme gave Sis and Bobby plenty of ideas for new routines. Here they are dancing to one of the songs in this album, Love Will Keep Us Together.
Thank you, Bobby and Sissy. Always a great job by Bob, Bobby and Sissy. Hi, I'm Ken Delo. And you know, in the month of April, don't let the April showers get you down. In fact, I have an excellent suggestion. Why don't you let a smile be your umbrella? And if that isn't a musical cue, I've never heard one. George, it's all yours. Just let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. And if your sweetie cries, just tell her that a smile will always pay. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry or fret. A smile will bring the sunshine and you'll never get wet. So let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. Our pavement. brings the house down with that song. Very appropriate for spring. Coming up, Tanya sings that not too often heard, spring will be a little late this year. And Kathy Sullivan performs the lovely Spring is Here. And speaking of Kathy, I'll visit with her at the end of the show. Now let's go back. Here's a familiar spring song recalling memories of the days we played at Elitch Gardens in Denver. In those days, one of the most beautiful and popular spots in the world. Bob Ballard conducts the girls' choir with Jimmy Roberts in the solo spot. again I'll say I love you while the birds sing all the day when it's spring time in the Rockies in the Rockies song for all seasons. Whether it's summer, winter, spring, or fall, I think it's a great idea to keep your sunny side up. And if that's not a song cue, I'm in trouble.
from Kenosha, Wisconsin, Kathy Sullivan has a pretty song and a pretty voice to do it justice. Kathy Sullivan. Beautiful Kathy. Folks, I'd like to have you meet a gentleman who was one of my partners in the Bob Hope Desert Classic, where our team tied for second place. Let's have a nice welcome, a nice big hand for Craig Altsdorf and his lovely wife, Pat. <laughs> yes, folks, with partners like that, you can't lose. Spring is the time of fear for romance. Here's Joe Feeney in a song with a romantic flavor. They say there's a tree in the forest, a tree that will give you a sign. Come along with me to the sweetheart tree. Come and carve your name next to mine. They say if you kiss the right sweetheart, the one you've been waiting for, big blossoms of white, will burst into sight and your love will be true evermore they say if you kiss the right 
right, sweetheart, the one you've been waiting for. Big blossoms of white will burst in. These three happy young ladies find that springtime is a great time for walking in the sunshine. Here they are, Sandy, Gail, and Mary Lou. Walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. La 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 la. Put a smile upon your face as if there's nothing wrong. La 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 la. Think about a good time you had a long time ago. Think about, forget about your worries and your woe. Walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. La 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 la. La 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 di ho. Whether the weather be rain or snow, pretending can make it real. A snowy pasture, a green and grassy field. Walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. La 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 la. Put a smile upon your face as if there's nothing wrong. La 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 la. Think about a good time you had a long time ago. Think about, forget about your worries and your woe. Walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. La 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 la. La 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 la. la. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the world's greatest clarinet men, Henry Questum. Henry gives his own special treatment to the all-time favorite on the sunny side of the street. Uh, gentlemen.
the crown of man, Henry Cresta, isn't he great? And now we bring you my lovely daughter-in-law, Tanya. She's especially happy this evening. Her two sons, Lawrence Falk III and Kevin Philp, are here in the studio with us. Tanya has a beautiful ballad. Spring will be a little late this year. Bob Smale, again at the piano. of the baseball season to millions of American fans. Here's a lighthearted salute to this national pastime. Well, it's that time of year again. Yeah, baseball. No, not baseball. Spring. Ah, spring. Oh, the backyard is busy in the red, the tizzy and the up. Reason is because of the season. My nature's lyrical with her yearly miracle. It's spring, spring, spring. Every field wears a bonnet with some spring daisies on it. Even birds of a feather show their clothes off together. Sun's getting shinery to spot like the finery. It's spring, spring. Just play ball as well as they dance. It's encore time for our special guest, Roger Williams. You'll hear another one of Roger's big recording hits, The Impossible Dream. George Cates conducts.
such a pleasure to have Roger with us. Thanks so much for joining us for this show all about spring. Back in 1976, a talented and beautiful young soprano from Kenosha, Wisconsin joined the Lawrence Welk Show, and she's our special guest today. Please welcome Kathy Sullivan. Thank Hi, you, Mary Kathy. Lou. <laughs> so good to have you here. Thank you. It's great to see everyone. Now, you'd only been on the show about a year. Yes, 1977. Mm -hmm. Does it bring back some memories for you? It sure does. Just seeing all the, the wonderful people that we worked with. It was, you know, I was right out of college when I joined the Lawrence Welk Show, and um, everyone was so nice, you know, flying from little town in Wisconsin to Hollywood. It was just such a thrill, and looking at it, we were all so young. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a little girl, did you and your family watch the Lawrence Welk Show? Oh, absolutely. And I hear this from so many people when I travel. My mother did the same thing. Saturday night was a ritual, watching the Lawrence Welk Show while I sat on the floor and she rolled my hair for Sunday school the next day. How many people do you hear that from? <laughs> yeah. They either peeled yeah. the potatoes for Sunday dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I guess like every little girl, a ballerina at one point. But as I got older and more into music, believe it or not, I wanted to be a symphony conductor. I remember I had a little record player in my bedroom, and uh, somebody at my church found an old wooden baton. It was about this long and very thin, and they gave it to me, and I can remember spending hours putting classical records on my record player and just conducting away, <laughs> <laughs> looking in the mirror to see how I looked. <laughs> <laughs> now, most people start music lessons for their chosen career when they're very young, but you said you didn't start voice lessons until college. That's right. Um, I entered college actually as a cello major. It was music, and I had sung all, all my life, but I started playing the cello in seventh grade, and um, an uh, interesting story about that is we still watched the Lawrence Welk Show, and at that time, Charlotte Harris was the cellist, and she was the only woman in the band. And I remember my father saying, when I first started playing, now, look, Kathy, if you really practice hard, maybe someday you can get on the Lawrence Welk Show. <laughs> and, uh, but I continued with the cello, and of course I sang all my life, but somehow I guess having something tangible seemed a better prospect for a career. <laughs> so I uh, went to college as a music major, cello, and uh, I did start taking voice lessons. And at the end of my first year, um, my voice teacher called me in after my voice exam in front of the whole voice faculty. And they said, my dear, we think you should change your major. And so I did, and I never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> so you majored in voice. Mm -hmm with the concentration in opera. Yes, I took four different languages and um, there, I was very intense. It was, I always considered it kind of like being an athlete. You had to really be in good vocal shape to sing opera. But I never really enjoyed it um, as much as popular music. So I guess it wasn't meant to be. So how did you get to the Lawrence Welk Show? Well, I was just beginning my uh, senior year in college. I had returned home from doing summer stock, and um, a friend called me, an old roommate called me. She said, Lawrence Welk is coming to town, and the television station is sponsoring a contest to find the champagne lady of the day. Well, I entered the contest, and I won, and uh, it was all college girls. And when he came to town, they picked me up in the limousine, and we went to the airport. I was with Mr. Welk all day long, and I got to sing on the concert that night with I the band. I remember that yes. night. <laughs> and uh, he called me back, and well, his manager came to where I was sitting in the audience after the concert was over, and he said, Mr. Welk wants to see you in his dressing room. So he led me back to the dressing room, and here was Mr. Welk changing his socks. <laughs> and he looks up at me, and he says, my dear, you have the purest voice I have ever heard. Would you like to join my and what a shock that was. Um, I called my folks because they weren't able to be at the concert that night. And my dad said, you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can always go back to school, but you'll never get another chance like this. You were right on the verge of graduation. Too. I was, I was. But two weeks later, I flew, flew out to Los Angeles and I stayed with the show until he retired in 1982. What did you learn from him? I guess the, the best lesson was to love what you do and do what you love. He truly loved 
his work. You could tell, you could see it in every aspect, whether it was rehearsal or especially when he was out on stage, on tour. Um, to have a passion for what you do and, and really follow, follow your heart. And I think that I've, I've been able to do that, um, learning from him. You've been really successful in the gospel field. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? That actually came about through several of the people on the Welk Show. Um, Norma Zimmer and Tom Netherton both had the same Christian agent in Los Angeles. And um, they introduced me to him. And I had become a Christian in college, a born-again Christian, and uh, had a real desire to sing contemporary Christian music. And he got me started singing in churches around in the Los Angeles area and slowly branching out further and further. And uh, when Mr. Welk retired in 1982, I went into it full time and I traveled full time for the next 10 years. You also did a lot of recordings. Yes, I recorded four gospel albums. Um, the most recent, um, not recent anymore, but back then uh, with the Budapest Symphony in Hungary. And your gospel work took you to Africa? Yes, I worked with World Vision for a time and uh, did a tour of South Africa. Was that exciting? It was, it was, it was wonderful. Um, but it was also a learning experience. Um, they still had apartheid then, and we went out to a lot of the remote villages that had not had rain in 10 years, and you could see the, the rain clouds coming across the horizon, but they never quite got to where they needed the rain. And it was, it was truly an experience of learning for me. Now, you met and married your high school sweetheart. Yes, we met. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yes. How did that happen? Because that was years later. Yes, we, um, we uh, broke up in college, actually. And uh, he moved to Milwaukee. He was, he's a CPA. And I moved, of course, to Los Angeles. And um, we lost track of, each, track of each other for about 15 years. And in um, the summer of 1985, I was scheduled to give a concert at the First Baptist Church in Atlanta. And some good friends that we used to double date with back in high school had built a home in, in Atlanta. And my husband was already living in Dallas and had been promising to come visit them. Well, they saw the news article that I was going to be in concert, called him and said, come this weekend and we'll all go to the concert together. That was uh, the summer of uh, 85, and we were married at Christmas. It was love at second sight. <laughs> <laughs> and you have two fabulous daughters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to explain the fact that you have a commercial driving license that lets you drive a 22-passenger bus. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I have a new career. Um, I am full-time activity director at an active living retirement community, White Rock Court, in Dallas. It's right in my neighborhood, three minutes from home. It's so convenient, and I just love it. And I do drive the bus, I do, and it's, it's just a blast. I love every aspect of the work. What would you say was the best part of your years on The Welk Show? Absolutely the people. You know, you hear so often people, the question, was it really as fun? Was it really a family like it seems to be? It was. It really was. We were friends off the show as well as on the show. We, we played together uh, on the show and off the show. And um, uh, even today, everybody is just so dear and, and so real. I think that was the, the thing. Everybody is real, just like they seem to be. Well, I know I'm glad you're part of the musical family. Thank you, Mary Lou. Thanks so much for being here. It's been my pleasure. And thank you all for joining us once again. So remember, as Lawrence Welk always said, keep a song in your heart. Tonight on KCPT, Mrs. Tischel returns to the village 
and Doc Martin has to work out what is wrong with Beachcomber Loma. Then at 9, Rachel finds herself on the wrong side of a murder investigation and is suspended from work on Scott and Bailey. You may also enjoy these programs tonight on KCPT2. I'm Greg Graves and I